Chapter 10, Inner and East Asia, from 600 BCE to 1200 BCE, by Jake Sotiros and Eddie Lee. The Early Tang Empire The reunification of China was due to the Sui Dynasty. The Tang Dynasty eventually took over China because the Sun was assassinated by the Turks from Inner Asia in 581. Tang Origins The Tang Dynasty was a transition from the Sui Dynasty, but many rulers of the Tang Dynasty held the foundation of governing practices that the Sui used. Also, they used they all, also they did not want to over centralize, in other words, allowing local nobles, jantries, officials, and religious establish, establishments to hold a significant amount of power. power. Li Shimin was one of the most important and greatest leaders in Chinese history. He directed most of his attention to Inner Asia and was a big believer in Sui origins. The reason why he was significant is because Li Shimin made sacrifices for the people and embraced cultural advancements in society. He was a ambitious militaristic leader. Uh, Buddhism and the Tang Empire. The Tang rulers used inner Asian presidents and use of Buddhism. Their political influence was throughout the Council of Aristocrats for support. Now, Buddhism predominated in the Tang because Mahayana or Great Vehicle Buddhism predominated. This type of Buddhism fostered faith in enlightened beings who postponed Nirvana to help others achieve enlightenment. What role did the monasteries play? Well, after the political influence throughout the Council of Aristocrats, they received, received tax and exemptions, land privileges, and gifts. Now, the Chang'an was important because they were treated as a Tang capital and a hub of Tang communications to the coastal towns of South China, mostly, most importantly, Canton. Chang'an became the center of what is called the tributary system. A type, a type of political relationship dating from Han times by which independent countries acknowledge the Chinese emperor's supremacy. To Chang'an by land and sea, the Grand Canal was built by the Sui and linked the Yellow River to Yangtze. The key component of the Grand Canal was it was a, it was a transportation network. The Tang consolidated Chinese control of their southern culture of the southern coastal region, which allowed for increasing access to the Indian Ocean and facilitating the spread of Islamic and Jewish influences. Chinese maritime innovations, they were the compass design and construction of very large ocean-going vessels. And the bubonic plague was spread in China because of the sea route that linked the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf with Canton. The cultural items that came from China were ceramics, paintings, silk designs, and clothing styles. And China traded with other countries were cotton and silk. The opponents of the Tang, they were the Turkic-speaking Ugaris and Tibetans. And the homeland of the Ugaris and Tibetans were were are now in modern day Mongolia. The significance of the Ugaris was because they eventually took over the Han after the Han Empire fell and they excelled in strong culture with Islamic and Chinese world and they made great merchants and scribes, therefore excelling in business in many languages. Tibet in the 7th century, Chinese Buddhists went to India and eventually obtained the Indian alphabet and artistic and architectural styles. Kangzhou was also a Tang princess who married a Tibetan king, and this eventually brought in Mahayana Buddhism. 
and Tibetans excelled in uh, excelled in war because they had very advanced techniques that were borrowed from the Turks that included horses and armor. Upheavals and repression from 750 to 879. What was the conflict between Buddhism and Con- Confucianism? Well, Buddhism was thought to be undermining the Confucian idea of the family and as the model for the state. Now, a very important woman, Wu Zhao, her impact on the Tang was because of she married into an imperial family, she seized control of the government and declared herself emperor. She favored Buddhists and Taoists over Confucianists. The end of the Tang Empire was between 879 to 907, and the events that led to the decline of the Tang was the Battle of the Talus River that led to military demoralization and underfunding. The Hung Chao Rebellion attracted hundreds of thousands of poor farmers who lacked protection from local bosses, and they wanted to escape oppressive landlords or taxes. The emergence of East Asia was consisted of these three states, the Tangits, Khitans, and the Song. Now, historians view the Southern Song as a pre-modern state and society that came closest to initiating an industrial revolution. Technology from the Song. Fractions, calendar, the clock, the compass, junk, military, metallurgy, and of course the gunpowder. In the Song, Neo-Confucianism was used f- for the Song and later in Confucian thought. Meditation. Meditation was a key chant practice and it was employed by the Confucians and the Buddhists. They, it was also used to relieve prospective officials from their preparation for civil service exams. Movable type. This, this invention allowed for, for a cheaper form of printing. Flying money, it was an interregional credit. And foot binding, it caused women's toe bones to break and in return would cause them not to be able to walk. And foot binding, and if a woman was not foot bounded, they were undesirable to elite circles. New Kingdom in East Asia, there were three that eventually came up. They were the Jap- J- they were Korea, Japan, and Vietnam. And Confucianism was spread to the East and South because of the crop of rice and its cultivation that fit well with the religion. Korea, Korea, Korea pursued relations with Song China. The Koro, the Koryo king supported Buddhism and made superb printed editions of Buddhist texts. The technologies that were borrowed by the Koreans were woodblock printing, and it was borrowed from China. And also, the calligrapher would write the text on thin paper, which would then be pasted upside down on a block of wood. Japan. The technologies and cultural aspects they borrowed from China were Chinese building styles and street plans. And unlike China, Japan was not in constant warfare. Japan also had Shinto and Fujiwara. Shinto was called the way of the gods and they emphasized real control. Fujiwara was an ancient family of priests, bureaucrats, and warriors. And they had power and they controlled power and protected the emperor. They favored men of Confucianism over warfare. And finally, Vietnam. Vietnam borrowed technology and cultural aspects from China. They adopted irrigation and Mahayana Buddhism from China. Ch- Champo rice. Champo rice was a quick maturing rice that can allow two harvests in one growing season. Champa rice was also originally introduced from India and it was sent to China as a tribute gift by the Champa state. And finally, women. 
But the Vietnam women did not adopt Chinese practice of foot binding, and both the men and women of Vietnam participated in wet rice cultivation.